for yelling. It was a little freaky. So, okay, well, there's lights. There are lights. I don't like this part. I don't like this part. <laughs> It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, so. You have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of the Park has It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. In the other direction. that video that I showed you before that the guy was like, oh, I found a magnet. He found, he was like, I didn't find a rod, I found a key. And so it's got to be in there. I'm thinking, because I think he was in storage. Yeah. Oh! My journal is gone. My journal is gone. What they want with my journal? My journal. Oh, so this is where you used to live in here. Yeah. Oh, oh. the light is really... At least it's nice and cool. Is that a bunny? It should have broken. Why didn't it break? Is that a bunny? It seems fragile. Oh, you're always fun to find. This is why we need to keep exploring, because we find yeah. things. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a 
one week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. <coughs> Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. That's Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's like daytime really in this place, but all the windows and doors are blocked. Is that a crowbar? Yeah. Oh yeah, even though I can't really attack things. Third of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired so... events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, Recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Interesting. This story's kind of interesting. It's to get weird. Oh, it's in the box. It's in the box. Wait, so the... Oh, crowbar, duh. So I just wasted the crowbar? Oh, no. Uh, is that dead stuff on the... Man, I have a really lame wardrobe, I'm just saying. Man, I'm really bad at like... That's it. Can I move this one? <laughs> out of here. You too. That scared the hell out of me. I didn't realize you were like. Well, I just saw the note that said you have the means to defend yourself, find a place to hide. I was like, wait, is something gonna happen? And then the dude showed up. Like how you're just like get in the cupboard. <laughs> well, cause that drawer was in the doorway, so I felt I felt like you wouldn't be able to close the door. Right? 
was not my plan. That's why I didn't want you to close the door before. Okay, that was my plan. <laughs> that scared Fourth of July. <laughs> the bitches. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Every night. We'll put a stop to them. Will you'll see. You'll see. So this cupboard sucks. <laughs> so what time is it? How long? Because like I'm careful with how to stop it whenever because I'm freaking <laughs> out over here. <laughs> 